Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another launch broadcast of Prower Aerospace Technologies. I am your host, Gerald Riker, and on your screen, you're looking at the Phoenix A medium lift launch vehicle, which will hopefully take to the skies later today. The Phoenix A launch vehicle was first conceived in mid-2023 with an expected launch date of early 2024. Obviously, that was not realistic, and due to some budgetary restraints, we had to push it back again and again until where we are today. We are now one minute away from the launch of Phoenix A. The vehicle has now entered terminal count, so if we pause the count for any reason whatsoever, the launch will be scrubbed for today. As we wait for the launch of the rocket, let's talk a little bit about the payload. Today's rocket will be carrying a small mass simulator weighing approximately 9.5 tons into low Earth orbit, which is the maximum amount of weight this rocket can carry into space. Now, we chose a mass simulator because we seconds. do not know the outcome of this test, and we do not want to risk any real hardware potentially getting damaged or destroyed if something were to go wrong. We are now 20 seconds away from the launch, so sit back, relax, and watch as our brand new Phoenix A launch vehicle goes into space. Five. Beautiful liftoff as you saw there on your screen. The vehicle is now commencing its pitch over maneuver to gain the velocity it needs oh, to enter a stable orbit around the Earth. Now coming up in just about a few seconds, you will hear the call out for max Q or maximum dynamic pressure. That is the point where all external forces on the vehicle are the greatest and the engines are throttled down to avoid the vehicle from being torn apart by the aerodynamic forces. The vehicle has reached maximum aerodynamic pressure. As you might have heard there from the call out, the uh, rocket successfully made it through max Q. The rocket is on a nominal trajectory, which just means everything is going according to plan. Right there is the view from mission control of the rocket's uh, flight path. And we are back to normal views now. Reached 15 kilometers. The rocket is now getting ready for staging in which the first and second stages main will split off. apart. There we have Miko, or main engine cut off, standing by for staging. And we have staging. Oh, wow, we also have some ground views. That's, that's pretty cool. And, yep, there we go. Um, 
The Vulpix engine on the second stage is successfully ignited, um, which will carry the vehicle the rest of the way to uh, orbit. And you might have also noticed some thrusters there on the uh, second stage. That is because the Vulpix engine on the second stage does not have gimbal capabilities. Therefore, it requires those thrusters for attitude control. Everything is going well on the flight so far. The vehicle is close to breaching Earth's atmosphere. And the spacecraft has now successfully left the Earth's atmosphere, standing by for fairing separation. Fairing separation confirmed. And there we go. The fairing has now detached from the spacecraft and is falling back down to the Earth. The fairing is what protects the rocket on its ascent journey through the Earth's atmosphere, but since there is no atmosphere in space, the fairing is no longer needed, and therefore it is ditched to save weight and mass. Everything so far is looking good. The rocket is following its planned trajectory, and the vehicle seems healthy. Now coming up shortly, you will hear the callout of Seco 1, or Second Engine Cutoff 1, in which the single Vulpix engine on the second stage of the rocket will shut down after hopefully having placed itself and the payload into a stable orbit. Standing by for Seco. Seco. And there we have Seco. Awaiting confirmation of good orbit. Nominal insertion. As you might have heard there from the callouts for mission control or from the cheering behind me, the vehicle has successfully entered a stable orbit around the Earth. Congratulations to the entire Prior Aerospace Technologies team for making this happen. This is truly a big step forward in our journey to the stars. Beautiful shot of our planet from space there, as seen from our second stage cameras. Looks like we might have lost signal there for a second, but we're back. And now, as you can see on your screen, the second stage is using those side thrusters to reorient itself to get ready for payload separation, which should be happening shortly. Right now, our team is performing final checkouts before we can jettison the payload into space. Payload deploy confirmed. And as you saw there on your screen, we had visual confirmation of payload deployment. Now the second stage will perform two burns. One burn to move the stage into a safe distance away from the payload, and the second to deorbit the stage so it falls back to Earth and leaves zero space junk behind. Now with payload separation, that will bring our webcast to a close. We would like to thank the Federal Aviation Administration for supporting this mission, as well as you, the viewer, for tuning in to another one of our webcasts. This is Prower Aerospace Technologies. We fly high to explore what lies beyond. Thank you.